back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another ranking style video for you guys. Yesterday, we did not upload on the channel. That's on me. Yeah, that's on me. But here today, guys, we are back with the Elite Ranking Series. Today, guys, we are moving it on up. As you guys know, we're kind of going through every single WWE Elite Series wave, and we're ranking them from worst to best. We've been going through fives. We did one through five, six through 10, 11 through 15. Today, we're covering 16 through 20. Now, I think there's some bangers on here, but there may be some sleepers. I didn't, again, I try not to pay too much attention to what figures we have. Of course, when I see an iconic series like 16, I can kind of, you know, think of some figures on my head, but I don't try to answer analyze it until I react right here for you guys as we go through our screen here. So let's go ahead and go through our tier list real quick before we get started. At the top, Brad, we have Go Buy It. That's obviously the, the Go Buy It section is if I put a figure there, I am telling you that you need to add it to your collection. Like just straight up, go purchase it. At some point in your life, add it to your collection. If, if we go down to the good figure section here in the blue, that means that I endorse the figure that uh, if you wanted to put it in your collection, I would completely understand. I'd be like, yeah, that's a good figure. Brad, go for that. In the mess section, that means that a figure isn't the best, but it's not the worst. You know, it's right there in the middle. It's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like a room temperature diet doozy. Next up, we have barely acceptable. That means that you have at least one thing about you keeping you from the garbage. So like it could be a head sculpt, an accessory, something about it that I like that keeps it out of the garbage. So therefore that is barely acceptable. And at the end, Brad, we have garbage. Now garbage means that you have not Nothing about you that I like, and I want you to leave now. Garbage. So with that being said, guys, let's uh, dive into the ranking, shall we? Let's start off with our first figure, man. We got Elite 17 Mankind. Okay, I love Mankind. I love the head sculpt. I didn't really care for the arms, like the elbow joints, you know what I'm saying? But this is a good figure. I don't think it's go buy it worthy. I think it is good figure, though. I don't know. It's just it's just not my favorite. I've never liked the way they made the McFoley's. I don't know. It's something about every Mankind McFoley figure where I'm just like, eh, do I like this enough to put it in the go buy it? I don't think so Bradley. Next up Elite 19 Miss Elizabeth. I would say this release is meh. I don't think it's fantastic. I don't think it's bad. It's just one of those that I'm just like do I do I care enough to put it in there? It's just meh for me. I love the dress and I do like the head sculpt a lot. It actually kind of favors my wife too. Gives that bonus points. You go and go buy it just for that. But we're going to put it in meh for now just because you can't be biased. You know I gotta, I gotta keep it limited there. We're going to go there with the meh. Next up is Elite 17 John Cena. Arguably the best John Cena ever made. I'm going to put that and go buy it. I love that figure. One of my favorite Cena's. Great head sculpt, great t-shirt, great attire, great camo pants, great shoes, amazing articulation, amazing posability. My favorite wrestler of all time. I mean, my God, it's go buy it. It's not even a second guessums. Next up is the Elite 16 Rock. This is garbage for me. I don't know what it is, man. The rubber shirt, the eh head sculpt, the small body. I just don't like it, man. I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of it. And plus, I've owned this figure a couple times. I'm not, I just don't like it. When I look at it, I say, what what are you what are we doing here, Brad? What are we running a circus factory over here? Get this jackass out of my face. No hits to the rock. I love the rock. He's one of the goats. That figure though makes me sick. Next up, Elite 19, Daniel Bryan. I'm gonna put this one in meh as well. I like the head sculpt. The attire is is kind of eh. I'm not big on the yes down the kick pads with the Y's on the knee pads. Uh, the yes shirt is great. It's just a meh release. You know, it's not my favorite release. There's better Bryans out there. It's just one of those that I'm just like... Next up is Elite 17, Kofi Kingston. For me on this one, Brad, I'm going to put that one in good figure. This one's better than Mick, Mankind. I like this Kofi a lot. You know, they gave him the bigger arms back then for whatever reason, but it's a really fun figure to pose around and stuff. It does have the larger knee pads, but I'm not going to dock any football points. That's a good figure right there. I can I can go to sleep at night with that. Next up is Zack Ryder, Elite 17. It comes with the Internet Championship. Really great figure at the time. I'm going to put in good figure. I mean, I would say go buy the title if anything else. I'm not going to say go buy the figure, even though I like the figure a lot. I think that his newer, you know, his Elite, what was it? 59? Was that Elite 59, Zack Ryder? That one's better. I'd say go buy that one. But for this Zack Ryder, I'd put good figure. Go search out that championship, though. I think that is worth it. Elite 18 Undertaker, Brad. 
legendary. Everybody will tell you that's legendary for the long, I mean, it's the only Elite Undertaker we have with the Dead Man ink on it, the shirt. I know we got, you know, our, our Elite 45, or not Elite 45, Elite 55 Undertaker, but that one's great. I wish that the Undertakers weren't so skinny, but that's still a really great figure. Let's go buy it. I think a lot of people would agree with me on that one. That Undertaker figure is solid, Brad. Next up is Jerry Lawler. For me, Brad, this one's meh again. Just not my favorite, you know? It's just, like, I, I don't know. It's just not my favorite figure. I think it is better than these other two, though, I will say. I like it better than the Brian, and I like it better than the Miss Elizabeth, but I think it's still just meh. It's just not one of those that gets my taste buds flowing, you know? It's just like... I'm going to put Jerry Lawler at meh, and we're just going to live with that decision. Next up, Wade Barrett, Elite 18. This figure's not very good, Brad. This figure's not very good at all. I'm going to put it in the garbage. Uh, brown tights. Tuxedo shirt thing. Wade Barrett around this era. Just not my favorite, man. He has much better figures. His other figures, I think, were in good figure or go buy it. And so, I'm going to put it in garbage, man. I just am, okay? I don't like a lot of things about it. Like, I'm trying to think of one thing keeping it out of the garbage, and I just can't. So, we're going to leave it there. Next up is Santino. This is a good figure. I like this figure. I will say, you know, I, I don't think it's, I don't know. I think it's a good figure. I think that's what we're going to stick with. You know, I don't want to get too crazy. I kind of want to put it in meh, though. I'm going to put it in good figure. I'm going to put it in good figure. Let's leave it at that. Elite 18, Brodus Clay. This figure is actually really underrated. I'm going to put it in good figure. I know, okay, it's Brodus Clay. This figure rotted on shelves, okay? I wasn't even collecting at the time, but it rotted on shelves. It rotted on shelves. So that's one thing I can say. This Brodus Clay, though, great cloth accessories, cool hat, you know, he's Brodus Clay, but he could pose his ass off. Really cool boots, tatted up. Good figure, man. Good figure. Like, I know it's Brodus Clay, but it's good figure. We're not trying to, you know, destroy Brodus Clay, but the figure is very good. And that actually reminds me this Miss Elizabeth figure is actually really good. Like, the cloth accessories. Yeah, dude, what are you doing, Bradley? This is actually a really good figure. Forgive me for that one, Brad. That Miss Elizabeth figure is actually pretty damn bomb. I'll tell you that right now. Next up is Elite 20 Chris Jericho. And this one is a go buy it, no doubt. Just elite figure. If you own it, you know what I'm talking about. I know he has the crazy, stupid, dumb jacket. But the attire is so fire. The head sculpt, so fire. Great Chris Jericho. Arguably the best Chris Jericho Elite they ever made in the short trunks. Not going to beat the Defining Moments or the Ringside Exclusive, probably. Still a damn good figure. Year, got to put it and go buy it. There's no buts about it. That is absolute greatness. Next up, Ezekiel Jackson. This one's meh. It's just oval uh, IC title. Rest of it, don't really, you know. A lot of people use it for Bobby Lashley customs. There was some, you know, here and there, but just it's just not worth the pickup. It's just meh. You know, it's it's solid, you know, not the greatest, not the worst. Next up is Brock Lesnar, and this one's good figure. I like this figure a lot. You know, I'm not big on the knee pads and everything like that. I do love the black and red there, you know, and, and just this updated look of Lesnar around this time. Just love it. I don't know. It's Brock Lesnar. I love Brock Lesnar. That's a good figure right there, Brad. I, I'd even bump him up here. I like that Lesnar figure a lot, and I'm going to keep it there. Next up, Elite 20 Christian. This one's go buy it. It's the only edging, the only edging Christian Christian that we've ever seen. And yeah, you got to have it. It's, it's very good. Love the attire. It's very rare and sought after, so there's that as well. But that is go buy it for me, no doubts about it. And I think the Elite 20 CM Punk is going to follow in that direction, man. I mean, what do you want me to say, Brad? It's CM Punk. It's Chicago Cubs gear. It's sick as hell. What do you want from me, Bradley? That's sick AF, no doubt about it. Moving on up, guys, we have another Elite 20 figure. This is going to be Cody, and this one's a difficult one for me because uh, I have bought this figure like 17 times for Finn Balor Customs and Cody Customs and fix-ups and craziness, especially when I first started collecting. I bought this figure a ton, and uh, I don't know. It's just one of those figures. I still have lasting Cody Elite 20 parts in my collection, just in my fodder boxes, just overflowing it because of this reason, but 
I really love this figure, and I want to say go buy it, but like, why would you go buy it when you go buy the AEW version? So I'm just going to put it in good figure. It's a really, really fun figure to pose around. They made him too jacked at points, but that's a really good Cody figure, I will say. I like it a lot. I like it more than the Mankind. Uh, I'd say this Brock goes up. This Miss Elizabeth's good. I'd go right here with it. I think that's pretty fair right there. I'd put Brodus Clay above the Santino there. I like that. I like that right there. That Cody figure is solid. Next up, Elite 20 John Cena. This one's meh. Uh, it is a good meh, though, because... He doesn't come with a lot of accessories. I think he only came with, like, he came with the ladder and the money in the bank, I know, but he came with just the hat. He didn't include the shirt. I didn't really care for the blue jean short color. I like the best of pay-per-view figure. A lot better, man. Just really good. Maybe we can do all the build-a-figure elites together or something. Do, like, a crazy video like that eventually. But uh, the best of pay-per-view elite, the Toys R Us exclusive, was better than this figure, and I'll, I'll stand on that one. Next up, Sheamus Elite 17. This one's this one's barely acceptable for me. I really love the gear and everything like that. And Sheamus figures are really good. Actually, I'm going to put that in Matt. I don't think that's fair to say. Uh, because Sheamus' figures have a really... Like, they're pretty boring, again. But they're... I don't know. It's like updated head sculpt. Really good posability and stuff. Like, really, really solid. They look just like him. You can't, you can't dock it. It's really good. Next up, Kelly Kelly. I'm going to put this one in Matt. I've never owned this figure, but I just feel like it's stiff. Liffy Liffy. I feel like a lot of people like wanted that figure. Like I'm looking at her in the prototype image or the, you know, the little the, the whatever, the advertisement photo or whatever the hell, the photo op of it. And I can just tell that her arms are like this and it's like, can I even put the arms down, you know? So I'm putting it in math. Next up, Sin Cara, Elite 18. Go buy it, Bradley. Uh, sick AF gear, really good posability. Really fun figure to pose around. Just a really good figure, man. Ball joints, great formula for customs, great accessory. Just really good figure. I always enjoyed Sin Cara's figures. I hate that we haven't had one in a very long time, obviously. But it's the white gear. It's sick AF. It's going in the go buy section. Elite 18, Rey Mysterio. This one's a good figure. Really fun figure to pose around. Uh, this is where they, you know, they updated the, the, the formula of Rey Mysterio. It's a fun figure, I would say. Yeah, I think it's a really good figure there. I'm going to put that there. Elite 16, Randall Keith. Uh, you know, it's a solid head sculpt. Randy Orton figures are fun to collect for me. I want to put it in good figure. I actually like this figure. It's green and black. It's something you don't see a lot. I always thought that these figures look just like him. Like, as far as, like, you know, like, the aesthetic of Randy Orton, it captures it perfectly. I'm going to put that in good figure. Next up, everyone's probably favorite figure of all time. Elite 16 CM Punk is in the go-buy-it section, Bradley. Really good figure. I mean, and it's iconic. It's got the it's great head sculpt. I, I used to have this thing mock. I bought this mock and I gave it away in a 5,000 follower giveaway on my Instagram like three and a half years ago. Maybe four. Maybe even longer than that. Out, out like what was I doing? What was I doing, Brad? Let me look at how much. I, I gotta look up how much this thing goes for. $250 mock. And I just gave it away, Brad. Woo! Well, that's just great. Let's move on. Elite 16 Heath Slater. This one's a good figure, I'd say. I think this is a good figure. You know, I'm not going to dock it. I think it's pretty good. Good articulation on that guy. Solid. Elite 16 Diesel. This one for me is meh. I don't, I've never really been a big Diesel guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not big on it. Never really been a fan of it. And I have the Network Spotlight, and it poses really god-awful. So I feel like this one's probably very similar to that. And for that reason, I'm out. Next up, Elite 16, Kevin Nash. So they, they did this weird thing where they released kind of like a Chase variant version. It was like one of the first Chase variants, but they changed everything about it. And they actually had seven figures in Elite 16. And I'm not the biggest fan of this figure. I'm going to put it in... Uh, I'm going to put it in meh. I can't, you know, I can't... I like Kevin Nash and everything. I just... I, I don't know. It's just not one of those figures that I really care about. It's very rare. It's very sought after. But for me, it's just meh. You know, it's just not my favorite. I just not feeling it, Brad. Next up, Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler. Now, this one for me is go buy it. That's a go buy it. I like it a lot. He does have jacked arms and stuff, but God, I love the pink gear. It's Dolph Ziggler. Sick boost. Sick accessories. Just a really fun figure, at least for me. Uh, I do like it better than the Sin Cara there. I think this is pretty... This pre uh, that's pretty fair, I think. It's, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep that. Next up, 
Elite 19 Kane. Uh, I have to put it in meh, and the reason I'm gonna put it in meh, Brad, the reason I'm putting it in meh is because this version of Kane I never liked. Uh, once he put the mask back on, I could never, I just didn't like it. It should have went away when it did, and then when he put the mask back on, I just could never buy it. You know, I could not buy it. And for that reason, I will not put it in by it right now. Just what happened, Kane? And then for our last figure, ladies and gentlemen, we have Elite 19 Shawn Michaels. And this is another go buy it. This is a really good figure, really good posability. I love the head sculpt on it. I just really like the HBK a lot. I think it's really damn good. Very impressed with it. I like it a lot, and for those reasons, we're going to put it in the go buy it section, and that's just what we're going to do, Brad. All right, we're just going to do that. I like it. Really good job. Great, great, fantastic job there. But that pretty much wraps it up, man. That wraps up our Elite Series ranking of Series 16 through 20 from worst to best. Overall thoughts on everything? I, I pretty much agree with this. I feel like this is the first time we've had a lot of mez like this. I mean, I could be wrong, but we got two in the garbage. The Rock figure and the Wave Barrett. Just no reason for you to really search those out whatsoever. Just don't need them. Don't need them whatsoever. The rest, I agree with this. This go buy it section is elite. I think everybody would agree that this company at the top, maybe not 19 Ziggler and 18 Sankara, but I would say, Brad, the, this is a pretty good little section there. I think this is pretty fair. I think we assessed everything correctly. And uh, I, I can go to I can go rest easy at night knowing that I did this correct. I like this. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into a random shout-out. This shout-out is going to go to Tyler Hahn, who says, Lucky to have a wife who puts up with your figure stuff, LOL. I'm going to need that one day. And yes, I would highly recommend finding someone who loves you for who you are and supports you in everything, especially a wife, man. I mean, a girlfriend's one thing, but a wife is is truly special. Okay, at least to me in my eyes like your wife is your life partner man And like it is vital that like that relationship right there is like more important than I'd say every other Relationship on earth you need to value it and you need to find somebody that supports you in every single thing And that is just your life partner man, but I am very blessed. I I'm so blessed love I, Like I can't even describe the, the the there's no words to describe how much I love and adore my wife Just I, I want to tear up thinking about it. I love you. I love you. Mwah. You're the goat the all-time goat, but yes everyone I, I hope that everyone watching this will find a woman that means as much as my wife does to me for you. I hope you find some, I hope you find that someone. And a huge shout out to Tyler Hahn for that comment right there. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that, man. Huge shout out to Tyler for the comment. I hope you guys enjoyed the ranking series of 16 through 20. If you guys uh, have any video suggestions or anything you want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. I actually found Elite 84. Actually, I didn't find Jack-ish. Jonathan actually found it, so I bought an Elite 84 Jeff Hardy, so we're going to fix this guy up. And the next day, he actually found the Chase variant, which I don't have just yet. It's at his house, so I'm going to have to go get that. But we got both versions of Jeff Hardy. I got both versions of Shut the Hell Up. Don't cross the line. You cross the line. I've been beaten by